So you might be trying to figure out exactly how to fix your 5G on your Android phone not working. Now, this can happen for a few different reasons, but the very first thing I'd recommend doing for the most part is just going through and making your way over to your specific settings of your Android phone. Now, what you want to do here is you even want to make sure your phone supports 5G. There's a lot of Android phones out there that do not support 5G. So if you have a very old you know, phone, or if you even have an older phone from like 2019 or before, most of those devices do not support 5G. So just keep that in mind in the back of your head. Now you can make your way over to your network settings of your specific device. And under, if there's like a data specific option of any sort, you might just want to make sure that, you know, use data saver is not really enabled, but under your, you know, data connection, you might want to make sure that you do have the 5G options enabled within your, you know, specific device. For a lot of people, that could be the problem that they're having. So if your phone has a 5G toggle that allows you to go ahead and enable or disable 5G, again, you're just going to want to make sure that you do actually have 5G enabled and your carrier supports 5G from that point. Now, another thing, you might be in an area that doesn't even support 5G. So 5G is actually growing a lot. It seems like every day there's more and more towers and more and more things being added and the coverage is being you know, expanded. But like I said, you can't go ahead and basically use 5G if 5G is not available in your area. So what you're going to want to do is you just want to make sure that within your specific device that you do actually have 5G coverage in the area that you're in. Chances are if you're not getting 5G on your device and you already have the toggle on and your carrier supports it, well, chances are you probably just don't have 5G you know, suitable in your area. And again, you're just basically going to have to wait until they add it in the area that you're in. If that's still not working, you may want to restart your phone. Sometimes simply just restarting your phone can probably end up fixing the problem for some people. So find the buttons that you normally would click to restart your phone, whichever ones they are, and then you can just restart your device this way, and that might end up you know, fixing the problem. You can also try updating your Android phone as well. So go inside of your you know, settings, go inside of system, and try to find wherever you update your phone at. And then what you can do is see if there's an update. If there is, just go and update your device. That could very well end up fixing the problem too. So those are pretty much the main ways to go and do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, souls.